teams in the Future City Competition. Yeah! The Future City Competition brings out the best of us and the Future City competitors come away with something that will stay with them for life in terms of their appreciation for collaboration, for teamwork, for engineering, and for our cities and our environment. It really helps students to make the bridge between taking math and science in school and what that means about what kind of career they can have. Before I came into the Future City competition, I wanted to be an architect, but now that I've been through, I've seen that instead of just designing one building, you can design a whole city. We created a city that really could exist in the future. We had our ideas, then we designed our future city using SimCity 4 software. The work is done in three dimensions. It's interesting, it's visual, the gratification of seeing something built and participating, but it's also fun to work on a computer. And they come up with some really innovative solutions. Then we built our model using recycled materials. And it can't cost more than $100. And then it's all about like teamwork. One of the most powerful things that Future Cities does is teaches students at an early age about teamwork and collaboration. Well, it was a lot of drawing and architecture and design. It's all about building and constructing. Whenever I walk by a really neat looking building or a museum, I think, wow, that would be really cool to design something like that. What's so important about the Future City competition, which is the only national competition for middle school age, which has behind it the whole of the engineering community in the U.S., is it just works so very well. It's a proven formula they'll forever have an appreciation for the work of engineers. It's very much a microcosm of life. It's very much a microcosm of what it takes to be successful in companies like Shell. This is WB2 News. Some Colorado middle schoolers say they have the ideas of the future. Students built tabletop models of futuristic cities as part of a future city competition. It's pretty cool like that I get to learn about different fields that I could go into as an adult. First we start by planning out an outline of the actual city and then we do the essay and then the abstract. Because we're on a mountaintop, there we have a glass piece where light comes through and reflects everywhere so it can light up the huge dome that we're living in. It again points to the strong need for diversity. Diversity is not just about whether there are men and women on the team or whether there are different ethnicities on the team, but it's also about diversity of thought. I recall the first year that a team of three girls won. It had to do with the coastline of New Orleans and their concern about the coastline. So they cited their city and a lot of its resources offshore in such a way that they could actually contribute to protecting the coastline. Now that year was just before Hurricane Katrina. It is in their hands to decide how we will live and how well we will live and how safely we will live on the way to future cities which will look like the cities that our kids have imagined. That's right! This year's theme is Fuel Your Future. It's about imagining new ways to meet our energy needs while keeping the planet healthy. So our team is figuring out how we can generate electric power without using up all our natural resources. We were first in our region, and we're heading to Washington, D.C. for the finals. Yeah! I like to say it's my favorite day of the year to spend at the Future City Competition Finals. I was so impressed um, when I looked out across that sea of students and looked at the work that they had done. Guess what? We won! Next stop, the grand prize! an all-expenses-paid trip to U.S. Space Camp in Huntsville, Alabama. It's been a very popular grand prize. The reason we do that is to help attract the next generation of engineers. I strengthen my bonds with friends because we're here every day working on a city together with one focus. Do it. If you have the opportunity, you should do it. You can do it. We're taking advantage of a resource which turns out to be unbounded which is our brain power and our energy and our motivation, and especially the National Engineers Week Future City Competition. It's reinvigorating for all of us to recognize and appreciate that. Hope you will too.